Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss another problem in linked list. Problem is inter intersection of two sorted linked lists. So it's a very easy problem, right? Uh, let's see what the problem says. So in the problem, we'll be given two linked lists. Let's take this linked list. This is the first linked list which uh, which is given. And the second linked list, let's take this. So now, this is the linked list 1 and this is linked list 2. What we need to do is, we need to find the intersection of these two sorted linked lists. So these are sorted, right? If you see, these are sorted in ascending order. And we need to find out intersection of these two linked lists. So what will be the intersection? So the intersection like means the common elements which are both like in the both both of the linked list. So if you see 2 is common, then 4 is common, and then 6 is common. And uh, let's take 8 also over here. 8. So if you see 2 is common, 4 is common, and 6 is also common. So this is the intersection of these two linked lists. And if you see the new list should be made with its own memory the original list should not be changed so what they are saying is that we need to make a new list a new link list right new link list of all the intersection element like all the common elements which are in these two link lists so this is a new link list and we need to return the head of this link list right so this is the question if you see 8 is in the link list 2 but it's not in the link list 1 so it's not in the final linked list all the common elements between these two linked lists are in the final linked list right so i'll uh, let's see what we can have observations from the question right and then uh, it's a very easy question uh, let's see how we can approach it so see first of all in the question it's given sorted right sorted this is very important uh, word in the question sorted and then we need to make a new list, right? We need to make a new list with its own memory. Now, whenever there is, so when sorted comes, na, just think of that you need to follow this kind of approach, right? How, uh, what approach? Whenever sorted is there, in most of the questions, this is like followed. Like if we need to find the common elements. If you need to find out common elements, right? And sorted is given in the question right then what you will do is you will take a pointer let's let's say t1 which will be at the head of this link list one and t2 will be head uh, at the head of the second link list right now we will see t1 value is one t2 value is two they are not equal and t1 value t1 value is less than t2 value right t1 value is less than t2 value means we will move t1 ahead which one is uh, the one which is smaller will be moved ahead so since t1 was smaller t1 will now become t1's next that means now t1 is moved to 2 right so this is one condition if this is the case then just do this now see t1 is at 2 and t2 is also at 2 now the see now these like both values are same right so when both values are same we will make a new node because we need to make a new link, link list now so we'll make a new node with value 2 right so this will be first entry in our new link list this 2 is the first entry right now let's see what we'll do now since the, this this was the case in which else if t1 value was same as t2 value right see t1 value was 2 t2 value was 2 <coughs> they were both were equal so in this case what we'll do is we make made a new uh, node right let me just do, do it like this what we did was we made a made a new node made new node right and the second thing which we'll do is now we will shift both the pointers ahead t1 will come here and t2 will come here so t1 is also moved to one position shifted one position ahead t1 is next and t2 is also moved t2 is t2's next right so 
now see t1 value is less than t2 value t1 is 3 t2 is 4 so this case so we will simply move t1 ahead t1 comes here now see both are equal 4 and 4 this again this case so what we'll do is we'll make a new node and to, it will be attached to this two let let this be current this be current so we'll again make a new node 4 and current next will be attached to 4 right this is this now again we we, we had made a new node now we'll move the both pointers so t1 comes here t2 comes here now t1 value is again less than t2 so t1 this condition t1 goes ahead 6 and 6 see now this condition they both are equal so what we'll do is we'll make a new node again <coughs> let's see 6 and this current which which was initially at 2 it will have shifted to 4 uh, right current and two currents next we'll uh, like this uh, two currents next we will attach the new node so what we are doing over here is we make a new node right <coughs> and we have a current pointer and to currents next we attach that new node right we attach that new node and now since now that new node is the current uh, like the current node so we will shift current to currents next currents next why this we are doing why this step because see when current was at 2 and we added 4 Now four is the current node, so now current will shift shift over here, so that the when the new node comes like six, it gets attached to four, which is the current, right? So this step is very important. After adding six, the current will again shift to six, like this. And see, uh, our uh, see, now both were equal, so T one moves ahead again, this one and T two again. So since one linked list is over, right? So there will be no more common elements, obviously. Since one is over, then there will be no common elements after that. So this is the logic, and one more condition is there that as if it's just the opposite of this one. In this t1 value was less. Now if t2 value is less, then t1 value, then simply t2 will move. t2 pointer will move. t2 uh, is equal to t2. next right now since so this is the pseudo code which uh, like pseudo code which i have written try to code this now in the function you are given uh, let's not see the code first just try to co uh, code it once and i hope just pause the video and check this algorithm and just try to code it okay so now this is uh, okay this is like clear but one thing which we need to do in this question is see for this new node which we are making this current uh, this new node uh, new linked list which we are making which will be the output let's have a dummy node initially dummy node and you can give any value to it 1000 minus 1 anything anything let's take one only so this dummy node will be the current initially the current current pointer will be pointing to this dummy node and whenever new node is new node is there na now see new node like we had made two let's over here the first uh, see first one was two na first common element so two uh, a new node is made of two value and it is attached to the current this is the current next right similarly then current will shift over to two like this why we are making a dummy node initially because If we have not made a dummy node, then we need to check first that yes, two is a first node, right? Initially, then current will be null, right? Initially, current will be null, so we we have to check if current is null means this is the first node. That condition we need to check. But over here, since we are making a dummy node, this condition need not to be checked, right? Either way, you can do it. Either you can have a dummy node, or you can just simply take current as null, and you can check if current is equal equal to null. then just uh, make this as the first node right uh, and then at the end if you have taken the dummy uh, node the answer the head of the linked list will be current uh, dummies next dummies next which is this node right 
so let's see the code now i hope you understood i hope you have written the code or just written some of the code which that is also a great deal so see initially i have taken the dummy approach right i have made a dummy node taken you can give any value to it and i have taken a current pointer which is initially a dummy node and two pointers temp1 which has uh, which is at head1 and temp2 which is at head2 right which we usually do to traverse in a linked list uh, while temp1 is not null temp2 is not null if both values are equal what we decided was see we decided that we will make a new node first so we have made a new node of temp1 value you can take temp2 because both are equal anything you can take and what these two steps are these two steps are connecting it with the current so currents next should be the, this new node right we discussed over here currents next should be new node and current should be now shifted to currents next these two steps and after that both the pointers will shift see both the pointers are shifted else if if temp1 is less uh, values less than temp2 then temp1 will move else temp2 will move and at the end you will return dummies next same code is java exactly same right and uh, python also uh, it's in the description right you can check it over there and let's discuss the time complexity time complexity is simple fairly see uh, we are doing a single traversal right so if we take uh, linked list 1 length as m and linked list 2 length as n <coughs> so at max the traversal like if m is linked list 1 length and n is linked list 2 length so at max we will be doing and if m like uh, let's take m less than n which one is like if m is less than if m is less or if n is less whichever will uh, be, be, be will be less then that will be the like time complexity because that much we will move right and space is also uh, the common uh, how many like the common elements in both the linked list that will be the space complexity because of that much linked list we will make na, the output linked list so i hope you understood the problem whenever you see na intersection that means you need to get the common elements and the the whether it is array or whether it is uh, a linked list and it is sorted then you can always use this approach in which we take two L, two pointers or two index like two variables and you like compare it like if they are equal then both will be shifted if one is less the one which is less will shift it like that so i hope you understood the problem if you understood the problem please like it subscribe to my channel it highly motivates me and uh, hit the bell icon so that you get updated with any new video and also share with your friends thank you for watching meet you in the next video